name of the film, same movie. Now look at how this is going. You think this is boiling right now, okay? Now think about hydrogen production as I mentioned in the first part and take a look at this. Now watch what happens as soon as I disconnect the power from the unit because when you do that, you stop producing energy, okay, or hydrogen in an exothermic reaction. We're going to remove the current and watch what happens with the hydrogen production. Now, if this was boiling, it'd be a whole new story, all right? It'd just kind of bubble, bubble, coil and trouble all the way down to a simmer, and then it'd level out. But watch what happens here when you break the current, all right, and see what happens to the hydrogen and oxygen bubbles, okay? Let me zoom down here a bit so it focuses. Watch what happens. And there you go. You see that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There it is, right there. Just nothing. Now watch what happens when I put the power on it. Little rough camera work. Hold on. Now watch what happens when we get the power. We'll put it on and watch. Now, that's hydrogen and oxygen being produced in a mag drive supergen. There it is. Now I'll disconnect it, take the power away. Watch what happens. All gone. Watch when I put the power to it. Now you can see what it's producing. Let me get a better light over the top of it here if I can. See if I can do that. I'm using a drop light. I'm not a fancy photographer. There you go. Get the light a little to the side. Now that's producing some serious, serious hydrogen and oxygen. This is a super gem. This is the unit that'll actually run my Ford V8 on hydrogen alone, okay? But of course you gotta set the timing up with a bunch of other stuff. Don't recommend it unless you know what you're doing. Now watch what happens when we take away the power. Here we go. There you go. We're back to just plain old ordinary water again, okay? Well, electrolyte. 